Hi there, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery with yet another Emmy Award winning episode in store for you today. Okay, what we're going to talk about now is basic client details. Now, what do I mean by that? I'll tell you what happened uh, a couple of days ago. We got a call at our offices. A uh, contractor said, uh, I'm owed money. I said, oh yeah, who owes you the money? Uh, Doug. Doug who? Don't know his last name, all right? How do we find Doug if we want to serve a claim on him? Oh, I've got his mobile number. That's it. How much does he owe you? 17 grand. All right, so based on a name, a first name and a mobile number, $17,000 work has been extended to this person. Doesn't know where he lives, doesn't have a fax number, has no idea where to find him. All he can tell me is Doug is somewhere in Queensland. Now, how stupid is that? You may as well just walk down the street and find someone and go, hi, what's your first name? Philip, Philip, here's 20 grand. See ya. You may as well be doing that. Now that is just absolutely absurd. The industry's full of it. You need to stop doing that immediately. So what client details do we need now? What, what should you be getting from your client before you lift a shovel, move an earth, any bit of earth or do anything, all right? First of all, who is the customer? Is it Doug as a sole trader? Who is the customer or who is the entity you're doing work for? <coughs> it can be a sole trader, in which case you want an ABN. If it's a company, if it's a company, you want an ABN. If you're working for a person, can you get their last name? I mean, how much of a bloody stretch is that? Could I have your surname, please? Full name. If it's a partnership, the full names of all the partners in the partnership. Okay? Now, next, I want fax numbers. I want all their phone numbers. Not just a mobile. Can you? I want a landline as well. Thank you very much. Fax, mobile, landline. I want an email address. I want um, a street address. A street address and um, fax number is probably the most important. Street address, email address, uh, a telephone number. Basic, basic stuff. Okay? And maybe a P.O. box. That's the case. Now, if you've got those things, you're starting to be in a decent shape if you have a payment dispute to find your client. All right? Don't be shy about this stuff. Some people are shy. I don't understand it. You're in a business. This is a business transaction. If you can't give me that, already there's a problem. And this is a good asset test when you start uh, in the whole quote or tender reply part of your relationship with a customer. If they're shy about giving you this stuff, I'd already be uh, very worried. Oh mate, we don't have a fax number. We don't. I, I can't, businesses that don't have fax numbers, this is already a problem. We've only got an email address. Um, I'm not giving you a street. Uh, here's a PO box number, or I'm only giving you a mobile number. That is not good enough, and you should make business decisions based on that. Going, I'm sorry, I don't have enough information on you. If you have an ABN, you go to the ASIC website, asic.gov.au. Look up that company, see what the story is with them. You can get a company, an ASIC extract for $32 or $33. See where is the principal place of business for that business, that ABN. Where is their usual place of business? What address is it? This is just basic information that you need to be getting on your customer every time, okay? Otherwise, you'll be like the fellow that spoke to me a few days ago with Doug owes me 17 grand, here's a mobile number, and he's in Queensland. Well. Do I, uh, do I go through the electoral roll all over Queensland and contact every Doug in the state? I can't help him at all. No one can help him. And he was a fool for having got himself into that situation. There's no reason for that at all. Don't you be a fool. Basic information, get it on your customer every single time and uh, you'll be in a far better position in order to pursue money or even acid test your customer early on uh, in the uh, rel business relationship. All right, if you want any queries, give us a call. Number's at the bottom of the screen. Other than that, I will see you next time.